What's going on guys? Fish here for Reignite TV and welcome to my Easter weekend message. Um, as you can probably tell, my background's a little bit different. Um, there's just been some rearrangements in my house. Uh, so for the next few weeks, probably I'll be doing it in my living room as opposed to my room. So with this Easter message, I kind of want to talk about both Easter and Good Friday because to me, they're both equally as important. You know, for example, you can't have the resurrection of Jesus Christ without his death. And, you know, it's the same way the other way around. You can't have, you know, the death of Christ doesn't mean anything unless he's resurrected from the dead. So I would just want to go over briefly the um, Good Friday story, which was yesterday, and the Easter Sunday story, which is tomorrow. So I figured a Saturday video, kind of put everything in the middle, works out perfectly. That way we kind of get both the resurrection and the death of Jesus Christ. You know, probably the most important time of the year for Christians. Yeah, you could argue that the birth of Jesus Christ is really important, but this is what he came to do. He came to die and to be raised again. That's the point of Jesus coming to earth in the first place. So, the death of Jesus Christ. We all know the Good Friday story. You know, he's persecuted. Uh, the Jewish people say, crucify him, crucify him. And Pontius Pilate finally condemns him. He's dragged through the streets with the cross on his back, and when he's brought up to Calvary, he's hung or he's um, hung there on the cross with two other um, thieves. You know, and then six hours later, he dies. You know, that's the gist of the Good Friday story. But why is it so important? What? Why is it symbolic to us? Well, it's his death. It's God Himself. You know, in the place of Jesus Christ taking our place on that cross, dying for our sin and our iniquities. You know, that's why, to me, Good Friday is just as important as Easter Sunday. You know, it's the day Jesus died for our sins. And it's something that should be um, seen as a lot more important than what it is. Yeah, I know a lot of churches have different Good Friday services, but it's it just doesn't feel like it's treated with the equal amount of respect as Easter Sunday is. You know, a lot of churches plan months ahead for Easter Sunday service, but they, a lot of them just kind of throw together a Good Friday service here and there. But I just want to talk about how important Good Friday is. You know, in fact, in First John, it says we're cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's what he did on Good Friday. He bled. You know, after having the nails impaled in his hands and in his side, that's the whole point of it. You know, those nails are sin and that's just piercing his body you know in in fact he can never get that back he's always going to have those wounds our wounds that we should have but by god's grace and mercy he did that for us so that we may have a chance to be righteous with god and that brings me to easter sunday now again we all know the easter sunday story mary comes up on the tomb on sunday the stones rolled away and jesus isn't there two angels appear to her and say he rose just like he said he would he's alive again so what does that mean exactly well for those three days jesus was dead god was dead so i can only imagine what being in hell for three days was like well at least in god's terms he was in hell but he did something that nobody else could do or would even able to do he defeated death he rose from the grave from the power of God and conquered death. So now, because he conquered hell and the grave, we don't have to live by our sinful nature anymore. That's that's in Romans 8. You know, We are now free to choose to live for God. We're not bound by our sin, bound by law, but now we're slaves to Jesus Christ and we're alive together with grace through him. And that's really what Easter is all about, really, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, that resurrection that he defeated death, that he defeated the grave, and that now we have a chance to live as righteous as he did. You know, it's not by our works that we live by righteousness, it's by his works, by what he did on the cross, you know, this weekend, 2,000 years ago, and that's why Easter Sunday is so important to Christians. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I could share uh, a little bit of light about how how awesome Easter is and how we should celebrate it every day of our life, not just a, a weekend out of the year. And, um, and I'll see you guys next week for a new uh, video. I'll see you guys later.